Hi everyone, this is Hardik from Fuzzin.in. Thank you for watching my videos. In yesterday's video, we have seen what is ChatGPT and how can we use its AI based chat to perform various operations. We have seen some examples of writing a rental agreement. We have also seen uh, an example of how can we ask ChatGPT to create a song for us. And we have also seen how can we fuzz or how can we write fuzzer using ChatGPT. In today's video, we are going to look at two extensions which are very useful while using ChatGPT and they allow us to use ChatGPT from either from Mac or from Windows or uh, they can help us in performing various options like exporting or saving the chat from the ChatGPT or uh, we can uh, save a PDF file or we can like share those chat with someone else. So let's start. So uh, there are three extensions which we are going to see today. The first one is chat GPT dash PDF and URL for this extension is github.com slash liady slash chat GPT dash PDF. So this is a, a very useful extension for a Chrome browser and what it does is that it will add some uh, option uh, in the chat window so that we can export our chat to PNG or PDF or in the HTML file format. Uh, so we are going to see how can we install that first and then uh, we'll see how can we use. So the installation section are given over here and as you can see over here, so it will add few options like generate PNG, download PDF and share link. When you click on generate PNG, it will generate an image file. When you click on download PDF, you can save your entire chat in a PDF file. And when you click on share link, it will upload your chat to uh, AWS and you will get a link so that you can share this chat with someone else. So uh, to install this, we need to go to the release page. So let me open that in a new window and uh, download this. So we need to download this zip file. Let's download this and uh, I am saving it inside a directory and then we need to unzip this file. So when you unzip ChatGPT extension, you will see that inside the zip file, uh, there are uh, different files like there is some icon, there is a manifest.json, there is a script directory where it has some different like uh, HTML to canvas and JSPDF file over here, and there is a containment source script.js. So we simply need to get this extension installed. And if we go to the previous window, so we already unzipped this, and then in the Google Chrome, we need to go to the extension page. So we can simply copy this and we can open this in a new tab. So and uh, we need to enable uh, developer mode. Yeah, so we need to enable the developer mode, otherwise it won't allow us to install this extension. So uh, the option is over here. You can simply enable this. I have already enabled that. And over here, we need to click on load unpack. So when we click on load unpack, we need to select the folder which we unzip. So this is our unzip folder which contains this extension. And when we simply select this, you will see that it has installed this extension and it is enabled and we can see the details over here like download a PNG or PDF or of your chat with chat GPT and uh, uh, there are some permission over here and uh, yeah so this extension has been installed and now what we can do is that we can simply go ahead and open chat GPT uh, and we can try by using this extension so let's go ahead and open chat GPT. Okay, so now that we have installed this Chrome extension, I have opened Chat GPT uh, website over here, and now let's see uh, what happens. So I have simply asked for some buffer overflow examples, and as you can see, it has given us a example of buffer overflow over here, and it has also given some details on how we can use 
a string and copy to avoid the buffer overflow over here right so this will avoid buffer overflow now you will notice that uh, there is an option that is generate png there is option download pdf and there is option share link so this is because of the extension which we have installed now let's go ahead a bit further and see if there is any code to exploit this and then we will try to save this we will either download a pdf or we will either share the link so let's see So you can see that it is given as a Perl script where uh, it is printing character E for 14 times followed by this uh, character. And uh, I think this will overflow the buffer and it will override the return address over here. Now, as you can see that we are getting an option to generate PNG or download PDF or share link. So in case we want to save this yet, what we can do is that we can simply click on download PDF. And when we click on download PDF, it will ask us to save a PDF file. It might take some time. Let's see, and now as you can see that we can save a, a PDF file. So if I just save it, you can see that I got a PDF file over here, and I can easily open this and I can easily uh, save my chat. I can go to this example and I can do anything whatever. I want this. So this is one of the example. Now another thing we can do is that we do when we click on share link, it will actually uh, upload this link, upload this uh, chat to AWS, and we'll get a link over here. So as you can see, uh, this is where it uploaded the chat, and we can get one HTML page like this, which we can use. So if you want, you can share this link with someone uh, if you click on generate png it will actually generate a png file and as you can see it's too big too large so this is a png file i have thrown in and i can zoom out it will con like convert entire page to a png file which if you want you can save it so i think this first extension is very useful right and uh, uh, now another extension which we can try is chat gpt max so for mac i found two extension which uh, we can use and both of this extension will uh, allow us to directly access chat gpt from the mac so over the uh, menu bar over here they will add one shortcut and we can use that so based on the review if you see like uh, this repository that is uh, chat gpt dash mac it has been started like 714 times and the second one, uh, chat GPT and the dash mac dash menu bar, it is like uh, uh, start for only 10 times. And uh, we see a couple of folks for this. So I decided to use chat GPT dash mac. And to install this, again, we need to download the ARM64 or Intel. And you can also uh, get it for uh, Windows, but for Windows, they don't give any binary. You need to uh, run this command. So let us download ARM64 um, binary and then we'll install and then we'll see uh, what we can uh, do with that. So I'm simply saving it and let's see what it does. So it will take some time. It is like around 86.2 MB. Uh, don't take much time, but we need to wait. Okay, so as you can see that it has downloaded the ChatGPT extension and let's try opening that and as you can see uh, we simply need to copy this to our applications folder or directory and once it's done we can access it from our launchpad. So let's see, uh, as you can see we got a ChatGPT icon over here and if I click on this uh, it says that it is an application downloaded from uh, internet. So let's click on open. So you can see that uh, one icon has uh, been added to our menu bar. And when we click on this, we it asks for the login. So let me log in to chat GPT. I will 
So as you can see, after we have logged into Chat GPT, we'll get this prompt. That is fine. Just click on done, and you can see actually it's say like that particular website which we have opened uh, over here. You just get a like shortcut kind of thing over here, so you can uh, check from your Mac without opening that website. So let's try something. I can do you know, like a poem. and uh, let's see what it does so yeah so you can see that uh, uh, we can easily access this uh, chat gpt from the mac using this shortcut and it's very helpful so we can actually open it in browser we can click uh, it on github and we can also uh, click over here so there are various extensions which are coming for chat gpt on a daily basis and i found these two extensions to be very useful the first one is for chrome browser and the second one is for the mac os the second extension also support windows os and which you can install by uh, going to the website and following the instructions i hope that you have liked this video please don't forget to subscribe like and share my channel that will motivate me to create more such videos I hope to be back with more such videos about ChatGPT. Till then, stay safe, enjoy, goodbye. Thank you.